Aussies, I'm Camille and welcome to my Camille Get Aerial Yoga channel. So today's class is going to be more like a morning flow, easy stretch and awakening of a whole body for the day. So let's get started and let's meet in a silk inside embryo pose. And if you don't know how to do it, just check the video above. Now sit comfortably with your straight back, relax your shoulders, your arms, your face and close your eyes just for a moment since we're just starting a day. Let the body sink in into the mood and check it through from your head towards the toes, relaxing it together with the breath. If you want, just release it with a sigh, breathing out through your mouth. A few more times. With each breath feeling lighter. And coming back to Ujjayi breathing deep breathing and full throughout the lungs, throughout full capacity, feeling how your belly moves as well as your rib cage and your chest. And then when you exhale, everything is sinking down and shrinking, belly sinks in towards the spine. Imagining that you're breathing not only the oxygen, but together with it, and inhaling that new energy for the day, the strength, the positivity, happiness, whatever else is uplifting you. And when you exhale, you're just spreading out through the body. So a few more big breaths in. And then we're going to start moving with our hips and legs, awakening the pelvis area. So we're just drawing big circles. So when you inhale, just stretch your legs forward, still uh, uh, close to one another. And then you open your legs wide as if in wide angle seated position. Exhaling, you're bending your knees towards your chest into a little ball. And again, inhaling and opening through the legs into the sides, exhaling, bending your knees towards your chest. So a few more big circles from inside to outside. And let's change direction. So meeting in a little ball and knees towards your chest. And now inhaling and opening your legs wide, feet flexed with the heels forward and exhaling, legs extended once another and coming closer with your knees towards your chest. Inhaling, opening wide through your hips, exhaling, extending and then bending your knees. So a few more like that, but keep pushing through the heels, heels imagining as if you're pushing into an invisible wall. And when you again bending your knees toward your chest, this time let's take the feet out of the silk just under the knees and let's warm up the back. So cat cow position. Let's start by taking the silk in front of you, approximately eye side height. So shoulders relaxed. And now you're inhaling and exhaling, pushing the silk forward, forward, grounding your back, looking to your belly and extending your leg lifting up as much as you can from your core, from your abs. And then when you inhale, bending your knees, opening wide from the hips, chest forward and arching through the back, looking up to the ceiling. So exhaling again, pushing the silk as forward as you can and lifting legs as high as you can as well and just curling in, but inhaling and opening to the opposite position through the hips, through the chest 
neck long extended through your chin and looking up. So exhaling again, looking to your belly button, lifting as high as you can, but don't put your legs in, don't cheat. Legs are still in the air. And inhaling, opening through your heart center. So a few more like that. Just feel how the breath is actually leading your movements. Exhaling and closing, inhaling and opening. And now last, pushing the silk. And now just leave the legs down and still pushing the silk forward as so now we are arriving to um, hammock pose where we put both legs and extend them in the middle of the silk. So what is important when you keep on holding the silk, not squeezed in into the fist, but a little bit wider for your palm width. And then you put in both heels just in the middle of the silk. So grab the edges, and uh, that only the middle would be left. Otherwise, if you put just somewhere here, the leg just slide down. So that's what we needed to put just in the middle. So find that little road for the legs. And then while you're holding the edges, slide a little bit forward with your hips, but the legs would end up uh, vertical in vertical line to the floor. So feet flat. And first, just relax your arms. Passively stretching through the back, through the sacrum, lower back, into the legs. And awakening the whole back side of the body. Close your eyes. Keep on breathing while we're relaxing and stretching out all the nervous system. So it's also good if you feel sometimes depressive or melancholy, you know, sadness and stuff. So forward folds are always helping out to release all those negative emotions, stretch it out, and uh, increases more positive thinking and happiness. So breathing deeply, slowly. So a few more breaths. And now let's engage more of the core and arm power. So let's hug it our thighs and this time exhaling and drawing your belly towards the thighs, just towards your knees, looking up to your toes and extending through, but keep extending and through the knees. So two big breaths in here. Just a little bit more, squeezing in and releasing. And this now, from here on, we move into hip opener or figure four. So now, just take one of your legs, whichever it is, and put it across on other leg, thigh. So your first leg, the bent leg, is like 90 degree and feet flexed. I will get out of this so here that you would see it more clearly. So it looks like that. Your one leg against the silk and the other one is across, feet flexed. Don't forget it to keep your knees safe. And now as you are in this figure four and you want more stretch through your hip, which you should feel now through the bent leg, hip, hip, uh, glute, perhaps even thigh. So if you want more of it, just bend the extended leg and by bending it, you're increasing the stretch. So wherever it is, just find that stretch and then just keep on breathing. Don't forget to keep your feet active. One more breath in. And breathing out, so if you have been bent the leg, extend it back, both of them, and now let's change sides. So now the other leg is bent across, uh, foot is active, and relax your arms. Even if you want more of the stretch through your upper side hip and glutes, just bend the extended leg.
feel that openness through the hips. down towards me and slide into a seated position. Now we move to the boat pose, again activate the more of the center and the lower back. So take the edges, lift your legs up, a little bit scooch forward, but you would uh, as if a little bit leaning backwards, but not laying down all the way, you're not laying here. Not relaxing yet, you will relax in Shavasana. Now let's Lengthen through the spine, neck, shoulders down, hands by our sides, and legs are like tabletop, so in horizontal line. Feet can be either point, either flexed, whichever is more comfortable for you. And now inhaling and just extending your legs all the way up, exhaling all the way back to the press position where we started. So inhaling again, extending through the legs, exhaling, bending. But keep lengthening through the spine while moving your legs. Keep breathing. And always imagine it as if someone is pulling you through the crowd up. So you should start feeling your core working as well as your back. We also are actually strengthening our hip flexors. So make our hips more mobile and stronger. Just a few more. Last one. And releasing. And now just take the edges of your silk that are closer to you and let's stretch it out through the abs and the core into the bridge pose. So slide down and just under your waist, relax your head, relax your feet. If you want, just twist from side to side of your waistline. And massage a little bit of your back while still passing away, opening through the chest and shoulder line. Keep breathing. Last breath in. and coming all the way up and sit up straight and now going to, uh, to the spinal twist with the extended one of extended legs so inhale and reach up with the both arms now exhaling and twisting to your right and opening through the sides of your arms extend your uh, right leg and take it through the either shin or if you want more you can take it by the feet well, upper arm is bent through the elbow behind your pelvis, behind your back. And then, twisting through. So exhaling and looking all the way behind your right shoulder. And twisting as a spiral where the gaze is ending your all the twisting motion from the side. So chest a little bit forward, but shoulder blades together. Just a few more breaths. Awakening your shoulder blades, see your shoulder line activating and bringing more flexibility in this area. And releasing your leg. Inhaling, coming up into the middle. And exhaling, twisting to the other side. So now we'll come to the from other side that you could see. And I hold up onto your left leg. Either shin, either foot, and the other arm is behind your pelvis, bend through the elbow. So now I like them through and twisting, bringing your left shoulder backwards and looking behind you. Keep on breathing. One more breath. Breathing out, relaxing your leg on arms, inhaling, coming in the middle, exhaling, taking that soon, and just standing 
on a mat with feet hips apart and lean back into the sill. So silk is just under your shoulder blades. Activate your glutes and lift up a little bit your hips. Inhaling, lifting through your arms and reaching and exhaling, bending into the right side and feeling the stretch for your left side. Inhaling up, exhaling to the left and inhaling again and another leg exhaling to the right. So keep on doing this and extending through your fingertips as if you're actually reaching through the wall one on another. And feel not only that lengthening through the ribcage, but as well as that crunching through your obliques, the side muscles. And last one, into the left. And now taking the silk, and we will go now to turbine. So the whole circle around. Let's start to get with the right knee bent. Inhaling and exhaling, going through the back to the left side and then to the front and meeting on the opposite side. And then from the left to the right, exhaling, releasing, inhaling, coming back. So full circle around, just moving through the joints, through the vertebrae, and the lower the bones, just moving up through that circular motion. Each circle is wider, just as if imagine you want to reach out and draw more of the space around you. And let's continue two circles in a row. If you want, you can close your eyes for the different sensations. And uh, feel that connection through your feet to the ground. one side and the other side. And slowly meet up in neutral position. And now let's move on to tree pose. So turn on your right side Completely. I will turn to you, you don't need to do that. And make sure the silk is a little bit wider through your chest so that it won't squeeze as much. And feet still together, just in the middle. And lift up your top leg and put it just inside of your thigh. If that's not available, it's okay, just put the foot on the shin or over the knee. Just make sure you're not putting the heel into the knee joint. So under or over it. And when you put the foot and it keeps on sliding down, that means one of the body part is relaxed. So in here you have to engage both legs together. Activate your glutes and keep pushing through the lower legs, hip up, while the bent leg is pushing into the thigh so that both legs is pushing into the another. So activate them, open through the top leg and hip, and then what is left is our top body. So inhaling and reaching up through your arm, but you can see now that I am quite bent. So we need to engage our core to lift up through the shoulders, through the chest a little bit up. So the whole body is active, strong, and keep on reaching up to the ceiling. Keep breathing, keep pushing through the feet and the thigh, open through the hips, and engage your glutes and reaching up. I'm coming back as you were standing down. So a few more breaths in here. And when you exhale, just bring your both arms onto the silk and hold up on that. Now release your top leg, but keep the feet, the foot active into the flex position. That means toes towards your knee. And then we come to lift from the glute power. 
So inhale and exhale, keep on lifting your leg, but through the heel, inhaling down. Exhaling again, heel up as if you're actually lifting even from the back of your glutes, not the top, not from the hip. And we also strengthen it not only the glutes, but also should feel the inner and outer thighs. Don't hurry up, just to do it from the power, right? And just slowly, together with breath, with control. And a few more. Last one. And now, let's stretch it through. So first of all, just bend the top leg and take it from inside, not outside, inside and uh, of your thigh and lifting up. If it's okay and you don't feel that much of a stretch, then start to extend your leg. And still holding through your thigh, either through your chin, chin or through your foot. So whatever is available for you today, just grab and hold on to it on that part and keep lifting your leg up and to the side opening through. Two breaths. Last breath in. And breathing out slowly, releasing. And now let's change sides. So as you are here, turn again to the front and twisting through the other side. So again, just make sure that the silk is wider and not squeezing too much of your ribcage or your chest. And then the top leg, the foot is on the side, pushing into the opposite thigh, in the thigh. So the open the bent knee through the hip while the lower bottom leg is lifting up through the hip, through the glutes, the top leg, through the foot is pushing into the inner thigh. And this is like opposite directions. Keep holding it since we are tree, the tree roots are strong. And then lifting through your branches, the arts. And from here, we're lifting a little bit through the shoulder line engaging core, especially oblique muscles, side muscles. Keep breathing and reaching up. Two more breaths. Last one. And lowering your hands out on the silk. Lower your top leg. But foot is still flat, uh, toes up. And now let's warm up the glutes and thighs. So inhale here and exhale, lift up through your heel, inhaling down. That means the toes not up, but even more like down. Exhaling up for a second, momentum, holding into the air and just went down. Make sure that your bottom leg still lifting through the hip. Don't sink and make it strong. Hold up. We will relax later on. So a few more. Last one. And let's stretch it through. So now lift up your top leg and take it from inside, either the thigh. Uh, and if it's enough of a stretch through the inner sides, then let's leave it here. But if you want more, extend your leg and still hold it for your thigh, or perhaps of your chin or your, uh, your foot. So whichever is available today for your body is okay. Just that you would feel a stretch. Keep breathing. One more breath in and breathing down. Okay, and as I promised you, a little bit more relaxation. So stand up, sit in front, and let's meet into the downward dog where we will just swing around. So if you know how to do it for your flip, you can go for do for a flip. The video is here above, just check it out. And let's meet with all the palms, all the fingers are down and sticking to the floor. Now push the chest down, 
relaxing at your head. Elbows just cross through one another, knees and then. Just make sure always that your silk is just under your hip bones, not on your belly. You shouldn't be squeezing too much. Just a little bit. And as now we ground through the top of the body, the bottom is just swinging from side to side through the hips, through your waistline, where we passively extending through the spine and shoulder line. Now, the crossing and crossing with different legs on top. And let's meet in the middle. Okay, so now we will turn into opposite direction, into the back straddle to stretch out completely the whole back to release and decompress the lower back for the day. So let's start with the, the side with a narrow silk as we won't be as long in there. So just let's start with sliding through the side plank. Put your left arm under your chest, grab the soft of the right hand, slide through the hips. And now both arms dragging the silk, turning all the way up to the ceiling. Now make sure that the silk is still just next to your hip bones, not all the way. Now this, as you see, is too low. So now we're switching a little bit forward and sliding up with the silk on the hip bones, just under your waistline, lower than that, leaning back and legs wrapped around. And relax your hands, just wrapping them behind, behind your back, uh, interlacing your fingers. If it's too much of a stretch for your shoulders, just wrap by your elbows. And relax the whole body. Just let the back drop down, same as your neck, just release the light. Just feel that squeezedness and shrinking through your abdominal area, through your core, and that expansion through your ribs and your chest. Relax your face. Everything is passive except your shoulders a little bit with your arms while we're stretching through. A few more breaths. And relax your arms and just release them under your shoulders. And we will extend through the legs into the handstand. So wrap around with your feet into the silk. And then here on, just push away from the ground and slide through the heels up. Oh my gosh, my t-shirt is down, but it's okay, because now more important to hold on to the pose, to the asana. So feet together, feet flex, and you should see if you lift up, you should see your uh, feet as well as your thighs and your belly. That means everything is in one straight line. If you're not sure still how to do that, just imagine if you are here, if you just push your into so try to curl your pelvis in and bring it over your wrists. So important thing is to come back into that position in one line, which is more like neutral. When you get into the one straight line, it's actually even easier to stand more. So just holding and finding that balance in the vertical line. Keep on breathing, keep bringing your feet together. One more breath in and breathing out, releasing your arms, crossing over and just swinging from side to side or around your axis. And let's a little bit swinging out through pendulum. So exhaling and lifting. 
up, inhaling and arching back, and exhaling again, lifting and inhaling, arching. When you arch it, as if you actually want to see what's behind you. So we strengthen not only the core but also the middle back. Few more. Last one. And release your arms as wings and just enjoy the flight. And then slowly stop in the middle, bend your knees. And now we will go out of the pose but into the camel pose, which is more for the chest opener. So take your silk in between your legs and taking all the way your feet. And now as we go down, we go down and to just hook up on your under your shoulder blades. So slide down and just arch through, but it won't be under your armpits, but lower than that. And taking your feet and looking up to the ceiling. Now we'll show it from the front, it would be more clear for you, if you're still a little bit struggling with this pose. So when you wear here on the back straddle, we're sliding down under the ribcage. So you're already arching backwards, that it won't be here, otherwise it will squeeze too much and it will be very uncomfortable. So just under your shoulder blades, holding here, and your feet, your legs, or go backwards, otherwise if you relax your legs, you're just touching the ground. So you engage your muscle through your back, and then grabbing one of your uh, ankle and the other, and then pushing through the feet away from the back, and looking up to the ceiling. Two more breaths. Down on the floor into the child's pose for three breaths. And inhale, come up, stand up as we arrive to the final position. Perhaps your favorite Shavasana, final relaxation. So let's meet in cocoon. If you're not sure how to flip it through into it, check this is a video above, just tutorial how to get into it. As now you are in cocoon, closing up, cross your arms across your chest or you can leave your arms over your head so whichever is more comfortable for you the whole body is straight just everything is relaxed and let the body just balance through all the move energy and also let's recharge with a new energy for the day So close your eyes, just check through your legs, your pelvis, your core and chest if everything is actually relaxed, you're not holding up something, relax your arms, your shoulders, check out through the back, your face. Just enjoy this few minutes in relaxation or if you want more just pause the video and continue on your own. But if you still for me let's just take and sink this final relaxation together with breath.
stretch out for your arms, perhaps from side to side, or whichever you feel you like to do. And then let's meet on the mat. So sit either cross leg or in kneel position where you find your back straight is easy to hold on. And relax your shoulders, your arms, relax your face, just close your eyes. Come back with that deeper breathing, feeling how the air moves throughout the body and circulates. As we now moved all the inner energy to awaken the body, the mind for the day. To be creative, to be full of power and new ideas, thoughts. Awakening that happiness and positivity that would lead you from now up to the evening. Inhaling and reach up with your arms to the ceiling and exhaling palms next to your heart into Anjali Mudra. And as we arrive to the end, open your eyes and there you go guys. Thank you for starting your day with me and I hope you enjoyed it and feel free to just comment down below to share your experience or if you have some suggestions for the other videos, I will add them to my list. And guys, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and push that notification bell. And uh, check my website just down below with all the silks and stuff like that. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Namaste.